everyone, I am back with a, another video for the Mickey and Minnie 2018 card series. So I got a question on the supply video asking if I was going to make an envelope tutorial to go with the Minnie Mouse card because of her bow and then being popped up so it doesn't get squashed if you're going to choose to mail these to someone. I had honestly never thought about that until that comment, so thank you so much. Um, I believe her name was Jennifer. Um, so I did. I just came up with an envelope that I can show you guys how to make. And I will link this uh, video into the description of each video for the series so you know exactly where to find it. And then as well, it's on its own of course. So let's get started. Um, you don't necessarily need it for the Mickey Mouse one. This could go in a regular envelope and it wouldn't really get that squished, but since we are doing a paper bow on Minnie, um, this is going to have a 3 8 inch height for the dimension of her bow and then being popped up. If you're doing a ribbon bow or whatever, um, you won't need this envelope because, um, it doesn't stick up as high. So... To get started, you need a piece of cardstock or copy paper or whatever. Um, you could do it in like matching paper for each card, however you want to do it. So whatever paper you want to make your envelope with. You're going to cut it to 7.5 by 11 inches. So that's what you need to start off with. So then on your 7.5 inch side here, we're going to score at half an inch. So half an inch, seven eighths of an inch, six and five eighths. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then seven. So one half, seven eighths, six and five eighths, and seven inches. And you're gonna turn it on your 11 inch side and you're going to score this one at two and a half, two and seven eighths, seven and three eighths, and then seven and three quarters. So two and a half, two and seven eighths, seven and three eighths, and seven and three quarters. So that's it. And this is going to be a squared card, not one of the ones with the triangular flap. Then we're going to flip it over and do a little bit of cutting. So on the inside of this score line, you're going to cut all the way to the second score line there. So hopefully the camera will pick this up for me. So just cut straight to that second score line there. When you come to this side, you're going to kind of just taper in that. That way, this is going to be your flap and it'll fold in a lot easier. So we're going to do that to all of these little flaps. So you'll cut all four of the corners off. Leaving you with your side flap here. So we're going to do the same on this side. And just kind of taper that side in. And the same on this side. Just straight down. Like so. So you should be left with a piece that looks like this. So your larger flap is going to be your bottom. And then your shorter flap will be the one that folds over. So, we're just going to fold these on our score lines. Get this all folded and then we can Fold up the bottom flap and attach it to the sides. 
and then you'll have your envelope. So I like to use liquid glue for my envelopes if I'm doing cardstock. So you don't want to put this on this piece here because it does not go up all the way and then you'll have all this glue on the top. So you want to apply your glue um, or whatever adhesive you're using to just these sides here on the bottom panel. So just going to put some on there and call it good. That's about all you need. So then you're just going to take your bottom flap and you're going to line it up here with the edge of your cardstock. And I'm going to take my bone folder and actually place it underneath like so to get that to It's a little tricky. So there's one side. And you're going to do the same to this side. Just line it up. Just stick that in there. Just to kind of hold and then you have a way to kind of rub that down. So then you'll of course set this aside, go ahead and make your cards. So by the time you come back to this, then your glue will be dry if you're using a liquid glue, um, which I would recommend if you're going to make these out of cardstock. And I would also recommend if you are going to mail them, then cardstock would be your best option to do that. So that way the envelope isn't really thin. Like I did this one out of copy paper, but I would never put this in the mail. I don't think it would protect the card. So then you would just slip this in there. And of course the bow, everything's popped up right now. But So then it actually, there's plenty of room in there. And then you would just seal it up. And you have just a little box envelope for your Minnie Mouse. You can actually fit both in here if you wanted to make a set of both and you could still you could still mail them it pops up just a little bit where her bow is but I don't think it's enough to really squash the bow too much another trick that I have done before when making the paper bows and wanting to mail them and stuff is taking a dimensional and sticking it in between the loops for the bow so sticking the dimensional inside of here will only let this go so flat um, I've doubled it to where the bow was popped up um, so you could double your dimensionals and then it would only go down so far so that's another trick um, to get your bow not to be squished this one's pretty squished because I keep playing with it and I keep smashing it but um, yeah, so there you go. There's the um, the dimensional envelope. It's an A2 size. These cards are A2 size cards. Um, so yeah, there you go. And if you guys have any questions about it or anything else, just let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.